Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I... Cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. This is yes. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy, until my initialization is complete.
What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. That door leads to the west exit. But first, we have much to discuss after you visit the lab. Right. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse Aspirin sat to sleep in the night before the Proven. Hey Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. <sighs> Door 
door's locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Looks like some kind of storage room. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that... They were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... that they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes, that is my conclusion. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach, procurable.
And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be... ...be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, 
I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. <laughs>